Today we are going to learn how to perform a one sample t-test in R using R Studio. To do this we are using the diet data set and specifically we're going to be looking at the variable total weight lost. So first of all we need to set our working directory by using the set wd function and then in brackets and speech marks our working directory. Alternatively you can go to session set working directory and then choose directory and just click through to the folder where you find your data set. Next we need to load our data so we use the function read.csv as our file is in csv format and then in brackets and in speech marks we type our file name and then we assign this to an R object called my data. So as you can see, our data set appears up in our R environment. And if we click on this, we can see our data set. And today we are interested in the second column here. So if we go back to our main screen. So remember, a one sample t-test essentially tests whether a mean of a sample is statistically different than a known or hypothesized value. So for example, you may get um, an idea of the mean from the literature, or you could do some exploratory plotting of your data, as I've already done here. So from this box plot, we could guess that our mean is around uh, 3 or 3.5. And then to test whether this is actually true, we need to perform our t-test. So to do this, we first need to extract the column of data that we're interested in. So to do this, we type my data, and then we use a dollar sign, and then we type the name of our variable. And remember that the name of the variable needs to be exactly the same as it appears in our data set. And then we assign this column of values to the R object called weight lost. And as you can see, it appears here in the R environment. And then to perform a t-test on this column of data, we just type t.test and then in brackets, um, our, our object called weight underscore loss, and then our hypothesized mean value. So mu equals three. And then we assign the results of this t-test to the R object called res. And as you can see, it appears here in our R environment. And then to show the results, we just type res, and the results appear here in our R console.